We are at the Honey Jam launch event at the TD Tower downtown. Today was just an opportunity for all the performers to meet each other, for all the sponsors to meet the performers, for them to show us what they've got. When I say honey, you say jam, honey. Jam! Honey. Jam! We're lucky enough this year to have Melanie Fiona here, and the girls are gonna be singing her song, Give It To Me Right. We're performing a Melanie Fiona song in front of Melanie Fiona, which is gonna be Oh God, like just so nerve wracking. We are not waiting around until 4 a.m. for some fool who's out with some other woman. Rewind and come again with something a little more empowering. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. He's Most of the general public just know Honey Jam as this great summer concert with really cute girls who can sing. But it is much more than that. It's a developmental program for young artists. And rather than me talk about it, I thought I would invite three alumni artists to speak briefly about their experience. It's a blessing how many opportunities come from this, and I'm really happy I was a part of it. We get to work with Elaine Overholt. She's probably one of the best teachers I've ever worked with. Ebony runs this. It's not a competition. We're all just collaborating and we get to see each other as um, fellow artists rather than competitors and I think that it's the way that the music industry should be. You never know where everything is going to lead. Elaine Overholt got me to go for an audition a little while ago to be a backup singer for a, a new artist on Atlantic Records and so I got that gig and I literally would not have gotten that if I hadn't done Honey Jam a couple years ago. Jam artists get to do workshops, they get to get vocal coaching, they get all kinds of things that are there to mentor them in their careers and help steer them in the right direction, make connections, all that sort of thing. I think we only see the end product, we see the award shows, we see the music videos, but we don't get to talk to the people about, okay, what did you have to do? What were some of the hurdles you had to climb? Winning two Grammys, a Soul Train Musical. Being nominated for BET Awards, NAACP Awards, topping the Billboard charts. Without further ado, uh, join me in welcoming Melanie Fiona. The more you focus on what other people are doing, the less you're focusing on what you need to be doing. Stop feeling what you feel you're entitled to, where you should be and where you should be at. And I still learn that lesson in my career right now. The main thing is to know what your purpose is, know what your goal is, focus on your craft, perfect that, and, and really get in touch with yourself. That's the most important thing. I maintained the team, the focus, and the people around me to stay true to like what was 
creep it out in here. It was definitely about knowing, look, I know what you want me to do and who you want me to be, but that doesn't really feel right right here. Melly Fiona, she's really just like a, a person who had a dream and kind of gave it life by following it and keeping her passion with her. One thing that stuck with me was the whole idea of being authentic throughout what you write, who you write with, who you, who you love, who you keep around you. Try to grow the person. Be more observant, more aware. Everyone here has the same goals and the same passions and they all want to be at the same place. So the more connections you make, the more love that you give out and the more that you share your own talent, it's only going to get you to the top. Build up your network of people you know, whether it's fellow musicians or producers or writers, you know, bass players, all of these people are great people to have in your corner. Now that Honey Jam is here, there will be um, more opportunities and I'm just willing to take whatever comes. I got signed with a manager, um, Jarvis Church. He used to be the lead singer for the Philosopher Kings and he and I have been working on an EP together and I'm probably going to be going back to LA to shoot some videos in the fall. Uh, I was lucky enough last year to get to win the Honey Jams Barbados trip. The opportunity to go to Barbados and say, oh, that's Megan DeLima, she's a Canadian R&B singer and she's representing Canada's Honey Jams. It was just such an honor. Thanks to Honey Jam, because Ebony, through somebody, had a connection. I got to perform with Tegan and Sarah, who are literally my heroes. Like, those are the type of things that happen, and that's not a one-off. Like This stuff just keeps happening, so we're lucky.